Hey, lovely viewers welcome to my channel Pastime Shows. Days of our lives, shocking alliances, romantic chaos, and a deadly past resurfaces. The September 25th episode delivers high drama as Xander's dangerous partner is revealed, sending Sarah into a panic. Meanwhile, Sophia makes a bold move for Tate, sparking more tension. Over in the modeling world, Johnny is stunned by Chanel and Alex's steamy photoshoot, while Bonnie and Hattie fight over body and soul scripts. As Julie Dove wraps up her portrayal of Killer Connie, Salem is reminded of its deadly history, from necties to notorious serial killers, past horrors are never far behind. With drama, romance, and suspense, this is an episode you can't miss. Days of Our Lives Warning Wednesday, September 25th, Sophia's play for Tate, Sarah's alarm bells, and Xander's partner in crime. In spite of Brady's sorrow over what happened to Sarah Kiriakis, Days of Our Lives spoilers for Wednesday, September 25th indicate that Brady Black will spend some time with Eric Brady, who will attempt to uplift his brother's spirits. Brady will struggle even if he is free to carry on with his life because he still feels he is to blame for Sarah's paralysis. Brady believes he belongs in prison and is incapable of seeing a path out of the suffering he is now experiencing. But according to teasers for days, Eric will give Brady a motivational speech and maybe encourage him to concentrate on becoming the greatest father he can be. Eric might remind him that Brady is necessary for Rachel Black and Tate Black. Naturally, Eric would realize that things are difficult when all that guilt surfaces. Holly Jonas will also update Brady on his personal troubles, since she has been criticizing Eric for his part in Daniel Jonas' tragic accident. In relation to Holly, rumors from days indicate that she will ruin a private moment between Tate and Sophia Choi. As Sophia cuddles up to Tate and listens, she will approach him. Holly will arrive and, for the time being at least, thwart her rival's objectives, even if Sophia would encourage Tate to rely on her. There will be animosity everywhere, and it will only worsen in the upcoming episodes. Meanwhile, according to Day's spoilers, Fiona Cook will reveal something shocking to Maggie Kiriakis. It appears that Fiona will come clean about their sexy hookups and how she protected Brady from Xander Kiriaki's baseball bat. Maggie will be alarmed by Fiona's startling announcement, while Sarah will be alarmed by Xander's scheme. Sarah will give a frantic plea to stop Xander as she will know he still intends to target Brady. Sadly, that won't work because Xander will soon have a new criminal accomplice. By the end of Wednesday's Days of Our Lives episode, Xander should have met up with the henchman he hired to assist him in pursuing Brady. Stay tuned for more predictions on the mayhem that is going Brady's way, as spoilers for Days of Our Lives indicate that Xander will be prepared to issue some crucial commands. Chanel throws Johnny out of the photoshoot with Alex, while Bonnie and Hattie argue over the body and soul scripts. Today on Days of Our Lives, Johnny requests a rewrite, Hattie and Bonnie demand revisions to the screenplay, and Chanel and Alex look amazing at the body and soul photo session. Johnny tells Chanel that the fire chief has declared the mansion usable after hanging up with EJ, but he also mentions that some of EJ's favorite vintage wines would need to be replaced. Drinking wine together triggers memories of their Italian wedding, which triggers a kiss. Chanel rolls her eyes at Alex, but she has to sleep because she's shooting her first scenes with him tomorrow. In the square, Bonnie becomes giddy about sharing a stage with her stepson Alex and acting as mother and son. She compares them to the classic Hollywood houses. All she can hope for is that Justin is renegotiating Alex's contract, just as he is for her. Although Bonnie is certain that the show is profitable, Alex notes that it is operating on a limited budget. At Body and Soul, Justin watches over Kate while she looks through paperwork. He claims that Bonnie is 25% over budget and wants an additional week off. Kate says the show will find another actress to play Cassandra if Bonnie doesn't agree to the original stipulations. Abe shows up at Stephanie's residence. 
The pro bono cast picture shoot is set for tonight, and Eric has offered to capture the images. Stephanie proposes that she begin negotiating with the performers. Hattie brings a stack of scripts to Leo's room at the Salem Inn. There are too many scenes for Bonnie's character, and they should be cut. Leo wants Hattie to be happy, but he needs permission before he can change scripts arbitrarily. Hattie responds that Bonnie has been modifying the script on her own. She begs him to implement her suggestions so that the relaunch is successful. Leo can't promise anything, but he will see what he can accomplish. Bonnie gives Alex a couple lines in the square. He is taken aback by her acting prowess but becomes uneasy about collaborating with Chanel. Bonnie advises him to direct their attention into their respective scenes. Justin arrives to report that Kate refused to negotiate over Bonnie's contract. Bonnie was disappointed, but she couldn't fathom leaving Cassandra as a character. When Hattie shows there, the scripts that make fun of Cassandra have been altered. Bonnie is demanding to know who altered the document. Hattie stutters and says, it was Leo, who appears. The actors receive notes regarding the photo shoot while Bonnie rants at Leo. As the three begin to depart, Leo prevents Hattie from following him. After all the favors he did for her, he can't believe she threw him under the bus. She responds, that's show business, baby. Furthermore, the writer always bears the blame. Chanel and Johnny cuddle together at the estate while he tells her that everything turned out for the best following the Alex or Ally incident. They get email notifications when there are last-minute modifications made to the script for Chanel and Alex's roles. Arrow and Faith are having sex? Chanel shouts. They believed that the characters were not meant to be together for several months. Chanel is shocked that she needs to have a romantic scene from the very beginning. The fact that Johnny has to direct it astounds him. A message regarding the picture shoot is sent to Chanel. Hattie and Bonnie come to body and soul as Eric is setting up his gear. Hattie stops Bonnie to say they have to change for the shoot, but Bonnie wants to talk to Kate about Leo's rewrites. She watches nervously as Stephanie shows Bonnie the way out. The women realize they are dressed in the same glistening blue dresses when they come out of the wardrobe. They get into a physical altercation over who should change. Justin and Abe cross paths on the square. They don't have the money, and he apologizes for the contract discussions. They can return to the show once it airs and becomes popular. It's too early, so Johnny asks Leo to modify Alex and Chanel's romantic scenario when he visits his room at the Salem Inn. Leo declines. Later, when Bonnie violently bangs on Leo's door, he relaxes in his silk pajamas. She threatens to quit if he doesn't reverse the script revisions while still sporting the blue dress from the photo session. Hattie, still in her photo shoot gown, waddles over to Abe in the square. He is to fire Bonnie, she commands. It's me or her. Chanel strikes a stance in a summery baby doll dress during the picture session. When Alex arrives, his naked chest is covered by a black leather jacket. Together, they strike a rigid position until Eric tells Alex to wrap an arm over Chanel. Eric tells them to look into each other's eyes while they silently discuss their surprise love scenes. Alex is instructed by Kate to take off the jacket and allow Chanel to touch his chest. Johnny enters, taken aback by their intimacy. Next on Days of Our Lives, Fiona tells Maggie the truth and Sophia becomes closer to Tate. From Connie to Nectis, an ex-mention of the serial killers of our past days. The people who take our lives are like sand through an hourglass. From the Salem Strangler of the 1980s to the most recent serial killer on Days of Our Lives, Killer Connie, there have been multiple serial killers in Salem. Let's review some of the most outstanding serial killer plots from the past several years. The Serial Killers of Salem Over the course of the last 60 years, Days has been home to six prominent serial killers. 
The first was the Salem Strangler, who murdered three women in 1982 because he was obsessed with Marlena. In 1993, Andre played the role of the Salem Slasher, and in 1987, Jack's stepfather played the Riverfront Knifer. Not until the early 2000s, when the Salem Stalker emerged as a murder mystery with a shocking conclusion, did Salem witness another serial killing. Then came the Necktie Killer, who in 2015 killed a number of well-liked Salemites, and then Connie, the town's newest insane murderer. The Slasher from Salem The Salem Slasher terrorized the town just a year after the Salem Strangler's killings. Andre, Stefano's son, showed his father that he was capable of murder when he moved to Salem and framed Roman, Stefano's archenemy. Andre was mowing down Daisy Hawkins in Salem while donning a Roman mask, long before Kristen donned a Nicole mask. Andre eventually had to leave Salem in order to avoid being charged with murder after killing four more women. The Salem Mob Killer the Salem Stalker, dressed in a black hood and hockey mask akin to a 80s slasher, started murdering Salem's best citizens one by one in the 2003 plot. The Salem Stalker, maybe the worst serial murderer of them all, murdered well-known figures like Maggie, Roman, and even the matriarch Alice. The killer, Marlena, wasn't identified until the following year, and in an even more shocking turn of events, all of her victims were discovered to be alive and well on Mellisuan Island. When it was revealed to everyone that Andre, who was passing for Tony, Marlena's identical twin brother, had brainwashed her into going on a killing spree, things only became more bizarre. The Killer of Necties Days debuted the Necktie Killer in 2015, putting a twist on the practice of strangling, even if it has been done before. This serial killer, who also killed Will, Serena, and Paige, killed his victims by strangling them with a tie. Viewers were informed early on that Ben was the murderer, however, Ben was subsequently saved when he discovered that Will had been genuinely revived by Dr. Rolf following his strangulation. Murderer Connie Despite having only committed two murders, Salem's most recent serial murderer didn't give up on murderer Connie. When the wall started closing in on her when it was discovered that she was the one who killed Lee in 2023 and framed Gabby for it, she started her deadly adventure and shared every detail of her schemes with a cardboard cut out of Lee. Connie was eventually apprehended and taken to Bayview after killing and poisoning Everett, stabbing Rafe in the back, detonating a bomb at the Mara mansion while Gabby and Melinda were inside, and attempting to slit Ava and Stefan. Days of Our Lives Julie Dove Ties Up Murderer Connie After recording her last scenes, Julie Dove uploaded a heartfelt video as she concluded her role as Killer Connie. Julie Dove's Connie created a lasting impact of lunacy on Days of Our Lives after killing Lee Shin and framing Gabby for it, as well as stabbing Rafe and killing Everett while also blaming him for that crime. She also attempted to blow up Gabby and Melinda and attacked Stefan and Ava, almost killing them all. Dove bid her followers a poignant farewell after being sent up the river. Concepts for the Future Dove recorded a farewell video during the filming of her last episodes and shared it on Instagram with the message, Thank you, Days Peacock fans. I adore all of you because I am one of you. Sherry Jimenez, her co-star and a new best friend, responded, So incredibly proud of you, my love. You really did rock it. Ha! <laughs> I love you and am thankful that Days Peacock brought you into my life. Today is Wednesday, February 14th, and I'm wrapping my run as Connie for now, Dove stated in the video. I'm heading to Bayview, so hopefully you'll stop by. I might also be able to run meet any other Salemites who have been transferred there. You've undoubtedly seen today's show. She also hoped that Marlena would be able to provide Connie the much-needed therapy she required in the future. Follow your dreams with all of your heart. Dove clarified that she had sent out thank you notes. Additionally, she was moved by a present Judy Evans gave her. She said, Armando, my amazing hair person, gave me a gluten-free cupcake, which was divine. 
It's so sweet, and she wrote me the sweetest note. I was also photographed in the Brady Pub by Jill, the set photographer. Having such a memento made her very pleased. Once Dove wrapped up filming her final scenes, producer Janet Spellmandrucker personally thanked her as well. She expressed her gratitude for the opportunity and urged her followers to never give up on their aspirations. She said, follow your heart because I can assure you that doing what you truly want to do and being who you truly are will bring you joy. These are really wonderful people, and everyone works so hard here every day, and I'm just so grateful to be a small part of this history, she said, becoming a bit emotional at the end. Dove closed by wishing everyone a happy return and said, until next time. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.